Christ, Universe here, and uh, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm literally bringing you guys this video from the comfort of my bed. Um, I like to work here. This is my thinking space. This is where I write all my amazing columns. This is where I put in the time to build my team, all from this space. So I wanted to cut this video today, though, because I wanted to talk about um, how to build a team culture using social media. Uh, there's a few things that uh, I'll share with you guys before I, I dive into really some amazing basics of how I've been able to build a business, uh, really from all really social media. Um, you know, I, I let people know all the time is that, you know, in my first, you know, I think seven years of being in the relationship marketing industry, I built a team of thousands and thousands of people. And the one thing that was interesting is that I never was able to really work from my home, right? I was always out and about. So I made the decision that when I got started again, after I took some time off, that I was really going to get really, uh, really deep into knowing how to build a business from the comfort of my home and more importantly, from my bed. So uh, what we did, uh, basically over the last, I would say almost about it's, it's been less than 90 days. We've been able to break over 100 people on our team, which is pretty dynamic, and that's going to lead, obviously, to 1,000 and 10,000, obviously, going into uh, next year. So really excited about that. Um, but there's some things that we do uh, social media-wise to build a team culture and to really get people to want to pull out their credit cards and just join, honestly. Um, this has been my strength. Now, obviously, I've built – credibility on, on Facebook where people kind of know that I'm always really positive. I always have stood for something, my core beliefs. I've been an entrepreneur now for going on nine years, never had to go back and get a job, which is not bad because sometimes you have to do what you have to do, uh, but I, I didn't have to do that. So I always laugh and joke with my with my, with my, uh, my, my friends and it's really funny. I said, I'd rather, uh, you know, <laughs> listen, I'd rather go back and live like in like a little box than that I would have to go get a job because I'm doing what I love and this is my passion. So it's a pretty funny joke. But uh, so basically, let's get right into it because this is what I want to share with you. This is really, really cool. So obviously, you're looking right now at this is my Facebook uh, Facebook timeline, right? My Facebook page. And I want to go over some specifics right now, which it may not seem like it's a lot, but trust me, it goes a long way when every single person can totally see um, what's going on on your Facebook timeline. So I'm going to scroll down right now. Obviously, someone said that looks like a, I should do that photo shoot. I probably will. Uh, but I want to scroll down to right about like here. Okay, so an example would be that on my Facebook timeline, um, a lot of people, get back up, a lot of people tag me. Uh, my team tags me in a lot of positive stuff. So for example, someone tagged me here with something really positive. This was a wine and cheese party. You. This is a wine and cheese party that we had uh, last night. My uh, one person on our team, it was a smash hit. She tagged me with the wine that she had out. Um, this is something that I do. So so here's what I want to show you guys, too, as I keep scrolling down a little bit more, is that I want you guys to see that a lot of, like, my Facebook timeline, a lot of other people um, are tagging me. Stop it. <laughs> are tagging me in, in pictures or tagging me. Um, with positivity, that was our team party that we had recently. Um, they're re—they're actually posting uh, my own videos back on my timeline. Uh, again, people are tagging me with positive stuff, and and so really, it, it goes more of my whole entire timeline at the moment has more people um, posting positive stuff about our team and what's going on um, on the team than I even post, which is. One of the biggest marketing tips that I can give you is that be somewhat of influence to people that you work with, to your organization, and allow them to express their gratitude on your Facebook timeline. Because what that does is it gets people who maybe that you've talked to, you know, about the business. Maybe they're, you know, people who told you no. Maybe, um, you know, it was, you know, someone who just hasn't responded to your message yet. You never know. But what what one of your team members um, is going to have an attitude of gratitude. Uh, for you one day and post it on your timeline and if you have enough people doing that people that are on the fence that haven't responded they're gonna they're gonna look at you and say okay you know maybe I should get started because I see a lot of people having success and that's really the, the biggest key so if that's one of the biggest tips I can probably give you um, I want now want to move right over to something that I think is amazing now I didn't create this page so I cannot take any credit for it but this is uh, our our team Facebook group. Now, this was already created when I got started. Um, there's right here, as you can see, there's um, basically about almost 5,500 members, and this is where we praise activity, we praise recognition. 
Um, and, and really, the, the fact of the matter is that people really want to be recognized for small successes. Uh, there's a misconception um, in the industry where they think you have to have this big, gigantic success in order to in order to really be recognized, and that's the furthest from the truth. Honestly, the reason why I even built a team of thousands of people was because I had small successes. I went through the nose. I got rejected. I kept going. I was afraid of the telephone. Now, back in those days, you know, nine years ago, I wasn't really on Facebook. My mom was the first person to create my Facebook page, so I was doing everything, you know, the, the traditional way. And so there was nothing like this. So this is something that you can use as a huge asset. I mean, on Facebook, you can create as many groups as you want. This one specifically is for um, our team. It's a closed group, but when people get started on our team, we add them as a, as a, as a member. We praise them and recognize them for becoming a brand partner. And then we, we walk the journey with them. We're the bridge between darkness and between the light, and we give them that on social media. Now, here's a really quick tip that I want to share with you. Social media is very interesting because if you're – have people that are on your team in your organization and they're not doing the activities then more than likely they're going to maybe possibly feel like they're not uh, good enough because they're not taking activities and everyone else is getting praised um, so you know I kind of tread you know lightly there and another thing is that it's going to expose um, people to what they're not doing uh, because obviously every organization has a system. Our system is really, really simple. I mean, it's so simple. 99.9% .9 of people are succeeding. Um, but truth of the matter is, is that we use our Facebook group as a, as a platform to continue the momentum and the growth. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. So uh, that's one way that you can build a great team culture. It's really important. I can't stress that enough. And the cool thing is, is that when you look at what we do in our Facebook, and we tag everyone. That's another, another you know, key is that we tag everyone. So when a new brand partner comes in on the team, you know, we I tag my entire team uh, because I want them to say, hey, welcome to the team, welcome, welcome. And somebody gets three or free and has no auto ship, I'm like, oh my God, this person got three preferred customers. They have zero auto ship now. They're three or free. So now more people are getting praised, and I tag the entire organization. So. Um, that gives a community that's pretty amazing, and then you convert that to a team event, like I just had at my house, with people who are in driving distance, uh, and then uh, you can always Skype or do a Google Hangout into people that aren't uh, in driving distance. Now, at some point, your team is going to get big enough where you can't do it, but the, you know this is one way to build the rapport and the team culture. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that really quickly. I didn't want to make this too long, but those are some really quick tips on how to build a great team culture, social media, and also how to get an organization to grow uh, by leveraging uh, you know, uh, your own social media timeline. So that's it, guys. Hey, listen, somewhere near this video is a link. I want uh, you guys just to go ahead and click that link. I'm going to give you instant access to uh, a really amazing free uh, webinar that I actually personally did on how I built a 4,000-person team in 18 months and how myself and my partner built a team of over 24,000 people uh, just years later. So that's it, guys. Appreciate you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.